feels like we're being told to look away just as things are getting interesting. The mainstream narrative says 3i Atlas is a closed chapter, a fading comet drifting into the void. But the latest Hubble data is proving to be incredibly inconvenient for that story. While the world looks away, 3i Atlas is building a shield. Recent images have revealed a cloud of 10 micron dust surrounding its core. That's a very specific size, just enough to make the nucleus marginally opaque. It's a literal mask hiding the true shape of our interstellar guest from our most powerful sensors. Why is it hiding? And why is there such a sudden rush to stop talking about it? What gets me is that 3i Atlas isn't fading, it's changing. Today, we're looking past the shield of silence to find the structure that shouldn't be there because in the darkness of the drift, 3i Atlas is finally starting to show its true face. In nature, things usually go with the flow. If you throw a leaf into a fast-moving river, it doesn't fight the current. It drifts where the water takes it. In our solar system, that current is the solar wind, a relentless stream of particles screaming out from the sun. Normal comets always point away from this wind. It's predictable, it's logical, but 3i Atlas is treating those laws of physics like mere suggestions. The Hubble images from December 12th and 27th show us something spectacular, a double jet structure. One of these jets is pointing directly into the teeth of the solar wind. This isn't just a trick of the light, it's a high energy anti-tail that refuses to fade as the object retreats into the darkness. What gets me, is that 3i Atlas is moving away from the sun. It's getting colder, it's entering the drift. Usually this is when a comet's activity should sputter out and die. Instead, we're seeing a stabilized seven degree wobble around its rotational axis. The jet is anchored near the pole, firing with a precision that doesn't depend on the sun's heat. Avi Loeb suggests this might not be a tail at all, but a defensive shield, an active exhaust used to deflect solar radiation and protect the core. If it were a simple rock, the sun-facing side would have changed after it passed the sun, but the jet is still there, pointing at the sun, as if it were intentionally redirected to face a threat. It makes you wonder, if this isn't being powered by the sun, what exactly is powering it from the inside? Because as we look closer at those Hubble photos, we start to see that this object has a rhythm, a pulse that suggests 3i Atlas isn't just a dead piece of cosmic debris, it's something with a heartbeat. If the anti-tail is 3i Atlas's shield, then its rotation is its heartbeat. Back in July, when the object was first being scrutinized, astronomers noticed a strange rhythm, a periodic fluctuation in its brightness. Every 16.16 hours, the object would pulse, surging in intensity before fading back into the void. It wasn't the chaotic, random flickering of a shattered rock. It was a stabilized, rhythmic cadence that suggested the object had a fixed structural orientation. It was broadcasting a pattern through the darkness, but, but here's where things get a lot more interesting. That heartbeat is changing. By late December, as the object began its retreat into the drift, the pulse seemed to drop to around 15 and a half hours. Now, for a natural comet, you could argue that this is just mass loss, that the object is literally melting away, losing its weight and spinning faster as a result. But with 3i Atlas, every change feels less like a decay and more like a recalibration. And while we're trying to time this heartbeat from millions of miles away, the object is doing its absolute best to make sure we can't see the heart itself. This brings us back to the concept of the shield. Hubble's most recent spectroscopic data revealed that the nucleus isn't just surrounded by ordinary space dust. It's wrapped in a very specific blanket of particles measuring almost exactly 10 microns in size. In the world of astrophysics and optics, 10 microns is a magic number. It creates a cloud that is marginally opaque. It's thick enough to reflect sunlight and create a massive glowing coma that hides the sharp boundaries of the nucleus, but it's thin enough to let the object maintain its trajectory without being slowed down. I'll be honest, the part that really messes with my head is the discrepancy in the measurements. Based on the amount of light being reflected, mainstream models suggest a nucleus about two kilometers wide. But Avi Loeb's team has proposed a different interpretation. 
If this object is technological, if it's generating its own light or using its dust as a protective blanket, the core could be much smaller, perhaps only 700 meters in radius. We're essentially looking at a massive glowing shell, but the actual heart of the machine is hidden behind a 10 micron curtain. Sometimes I think we underestimate how quiet the universe can be. We expect visitors to arrive with a fanfare, but maybe they prefer a shield of silence, a dusty, opaque ghost that refuses to show its face while it passes through our neighborhood. Because as Atlas retreats into the darkness, it's not just hiding its shape, it's launching something into the void. It's not just where three eye atlas came from that should keep us up at night, it's where it's going. Most mainstream headlines will tell you the object is leaving, but that's an oversimplification. Three eye atlas isn't just drifting blindly into the void, it's following a trajectory that is so incredibly precise, it feels less like a random tumble and more like a calculated mission. In March 2026, the object is set to reach the hill radius of Jupiter, the king of our planets, using its massive gravity as a final slingshot before exiting our system forever. What gets me is the efficiency of this route. If you were a civilization from another star system and you wanted to survey a new neighborhood, you wouldn't just fly through. You'd hit specific gravitational keys to maximize your coverage of the most important bodies. I can't shake the feeling that this path was chosen with surgical intent. If you wanted to drop off a payload or a sensor near the moons of the outer solar system, places like Europa or Enceladus that we think might harbor life, this is exactly how you'd navigate. It's a tourist route for an intelligence that knows exactly where the interesting landmarks are, yet we're being told to believe it's just a coincidence of orbital mechanics. And while Atlas moves along this perfect path, it's doing something even more provocative. It's launching material into the darkness at speeds of over one kilometer per second. Now, I don't know if that sounds fast to you, but in the world of cometary physics, that's a massive problem. Natural solar warming, the sun just melting a ball of ice, usually drives particles out at about 500 meters per second. 3i Atlas is ejecting its dust at double that speed for a natural object that's almost impossible. It suggests a mechanical force, a deliberate high energy ejection. At this distance from the sun, there simply isn't enough thermal energy to blast material out that fast. It's like watching a car accelerate on a steep uphill climb without ever hearing the engine. Some astronomers argue that there must be localized pockets of high pressure gas, but others push back, pointing out that we've never seen this kind of sustained high speed ejection in any solar system comet. It feels less like a leak and more like a propulsion system or a deployment sequence hidden behind that 10 micron mask. Some researchers have whispered about a seeding hypothesis. The idea is that 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor, it's a farmer. As it passes through, it spreads organic compounds or perhaps even microscopic sensors across the orbital paths of our planets. It's a quiet, efficient way to colonize or monitor a system without ever making a sound. It brings us back to the silence of the Fermi paradox. We always ask, where is everybody? but maybe the dark forest theory is the answer. In a universe where being loud is dangerous, advanced civilizations move through the drift like shadows. They don't send radio signals that scream, here we are. They send objects like three eye atlas, shrouded in 10 micron masks, hidden behind impossible anti-tails and following trajectories that look just natural enough to keep us from panicking. I can't shake the feeling that we are looking at a silent observer that came to see who was making all that noise on Earth, only to move on once the task was complete. It didn't come to talk to us. It came to observe, to seed, and to disappear back into the void. As 3i Atlas retreats into the eternal void, it leaves us with a choice. We can believe the comfortable narrative that it was just a random rock that flared up and vanished. Or we can look at the shield it built the heartbeat it maintained, and the calculated path it took through our neighborhood and admit we might have witnessed something profound. The truth is, 3i Atlas doesn't owe us an explanation. It doesn't care if we're ready for it. The shield of silence did its job. It kept the core hidden and the mystery alive for those of us who refused to look away. 
As it drifts further into the darkness, maybe its real purpose was simply to remind us that we aren't the only ones watching the drift. If you've stayed awake wondering what else is hiding in the silence, you're in the right place. Leave a like to help this signal reach others and subscribe to join us as we track the anomalies of the deep. If you'd like to help us keep staring into the unknown, consider becoming a member of our community. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars, but remember, the stars might be watching you back. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and as always, watch the void.